All right, so today we're going to be talking about Metal, uh, which is a clipping software. Uh, right now, I highly recommend using Metal to clip. It's really convenient and just has like a ton of features built in. And at the same time, what we can do is we can deep load our NVIDIA driver. So we'll start with the deep loading of NVIDIA driver. If you have already done this, then you can skip ahead to the Metal settings part. But if not, I'm just going to walk through it. Um, first of all, if you have an NVIDIA driver installed, you'll want to use DDU. You'll want to boot to safe mode. Boot to safe mode and use DDU to remove the Jeep to remove your drivers. And then what you'll want to do is you'll, you'll want to download MV clean stall. Search for NVIDIA drivers download. Hit beta and old drivers down here. Choose your graphics card. So I have a 3090. I'm going to choose DCH. Make sure it's 64 bit here. Recommended certified, hit search. I'm going to grab 471.11 right here, download, and download again. Once that's done, you're going to open MV Clean Stall. You're going to hit use driver files on disk. Hit browse, navigate to the desktop, and select the 471.11. Hit next. Check physics. Remember, this is not installing GeForce Experience at all. So if you do like GeForce Experience or Whatever you want GeForce Experience, you do not do this method. So check both of these off. Hit next. It's gonna unpack the un it's gonna unpack the installer. At the same time, what I'll do is when you install Metal, Metal kind of looks like this. You just have to log in and stuff. Um, what it has is like clipping software built in. And you can edit clips and you can upload clips and there's a home page and all that fun stuff. It's pretty cool. So MV clean stall, you're gonna check these exact boxes that I'm checking here. Show expert tweaks here. Disable this, this, enable this. If you have a 30 series card, leave this on default. If you don't have a 30 series card, you can put this interrupt priority to high. And disable HDCP and then make sure you enable make sure you check this as well or else Anti-cheat will not work with some games like Apex and stuff. You're just going to hit next, and then you're pretty much just going to install it. Just run the express install once this is done, and that will install the debloated driver. Next, in metal, you go to settings, and we go to recorder. Here, I'm running under full HD, 1080p, 60 FPS, 15 M bit rate, GPU for the video encoder. Because Valorant's a CPU bound game, so I want to make sure I'm using my GPU to encode and 45 seconds of length. Video aspect, aspect ratio, I play stretched, but it doesn't really matter. Stretched to fit 10, uh, 16 by 9 works perfectly. Recording buffer, make sure this is on the memory, so that will use your RAM instead of the disk memory, which is what you want. Uh, maximize clip performance, you want to turn this on. Um, record with metal on. And these are all just like other settings you can mess with here, but these are the general settings here for this is what I use here. Um, there's another setting. You can adjust your audio settings, obviously. I think, yeah, here it is. Under the general tab, down here, you want to make, make sure you disable UI hardware acceleration. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, you can just set your hotkeys and stuff, and you're good to go. I use mine on uh, backslash. And it clips perfectly. You can go into the clips. You can trim them. You can do whatever you want. But this is just going over why. Like I really like metal just because of the whole like the whole just software built in, and because we're using our memory for the recording buffer, which is great. Not our CPU or a GPU or a disk, which is really nice for them to add this feature in. Uh, that's it for the video. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, just shoot away and follow me on metal.